Hi, this is Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World. As you can see, I stand before the Sphinx here in ancient Egypt. The Sphinx, part lion, part human, the head of the pharaoh, the body of a lion. In ancient times, the cat was seen as somewhat of a god. Why there was a structure created, part human, part lion, probably because the pharaoh wanted to be seen and admired somewhat of a god. Now, was this structure really created 4000 BC? Or it does have a link to the lost continents of Atlantis. Many who don't believe that Atlantis existed. However, under the right paw of the Sphinx, there is also known to be the Hall of Records. Scrolls, information, books and tablets on the lost city of Atlantis. I am here. I am learning. Excavation continues, as usually the Sphinx come in pairs. Currently, just one. Now, it's also said there are chambers within the Sphinx that lead to the tomb of a god, a physical god that existed here on planet Earth known as Cyrus. Now, in the Atlantean times, it was a very advanced civilization where probably they could take their hand, they could take their finger and move a stone that would be about three tons and place it to create a pyramid, to create the Sphinx. Five tons, no problem. The advanced civilization of Atlantis, people had full access to their full potential. I feel that we have just become so far removed from what we are really capable of. Turning the impossible to possible, that's how it was in the Atlantean times. Maybe people could really fly, maybe we can fly. It's what we believe, what we feel inside, what we would believe becomes reality. Our experiences create our reality. But we have these gifts inside. God created us with everything that we need. God is not flawed. He gave us everything that we need. And I feel that the Atlantean times, in Atlantis, they had the capabilities of creating a pyramid that weighs in around six million tons. Was it the aliens? Was it the Atlanteans? Was it the ancient Egyptians who created these pyramids and the Sphinx? I'll let you be the judge of that. Giving you a little view all around. 92 pyramids here in Giza, Egypt, in front of the Sphinx. It's interesting because at the pyramids, you could go inside, you could climb on top of the rocks, not all the way to the top, but however, at the Sphinx, it is all fenced off, it is protected very protected for, for very good reasons. Now the Sphinx was also known to have protected those pyramids, the tombs, so it's been said. You have to decipher, you have to research yourself, and you have to go inside yourself to ask what is truth, what is the answers. In your life, inside your heart, those are where the answers reside, to everything and anything. As I say, if you have a question, then ask, and you will receive answers, one after another. I journal, I ask, I connect, I pray, and I meditate. And that's where the answers come in, through our abilities, our psychic abilities, our intuition, what we hear, what we think, what we speak, what we feel, that's where the answers come through. So, you have to listen to what's inside. Signing out, here in ancient Egypt, in Giza, in front of the Sphinx, with the Egyptian people. And here's somebody to say hi. You want to say hi? Say hi. So, signing out, that's Sherry Methling with Ancient Healings Around the World. Peace.